Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime, it's Wednesday, so we're gonna have a look at Cassie Mendoza. And I'm gonna show you all the best buys of the normal vendor reset. As you probably noticed, I wasn't making content the last week because my mic broke down and it wasn't the best quality to make content. Got a new mic, so we're back here. I got a bunch of content coming for you, so make sure to keep an eye on the channel. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button because it helps me out tremendously within the YouTube algorithm. But enough of the intro, let's start with Cassie Mendoza. Starting with the artist tool, the first named item, it's not really worth it in my opinion. This of course comes with Perfect Rifleman. Firm handshake named Sokolov gloves with 15% status effect on there. Not really attractive if you ask me. Shield splinter, not really good. Always comes with perfect optimus, as you know. Hunter killer, not really worth it. Two blues, explosive resistance and health on there. And if you don't see the shield splinter or if you don't see the hunter killer, that means that you need to take out all the hunters that the game has to offer. For the shield splinter, you need to take out all the year one hunters. They will drop eight keys for you. With those eight keys, you can open up a box in the White House. After you open this box, the shield splinter will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Then the same for the hunter killer, but now take out all the year two hunters. They will drop eight keys for you as well. Open a box in Haven with those eight keys. And after that, the hunter killer will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. And that's how you can see and buy the shield splinter and the hunter killer for everybody that didn't know. Backpack of Future Initiative. Could be something with an 8% skill damage on there. A Hunter's Fury chest could be a very, very nice buy, especially if you want to go for a Hunter's Fury PvP build, because this already comes with a critical hit chance on there. So you can roll that weapon damage away for some armor, for example. Umbra could be nice. Those gloves, 12.4% weapon damage already on there. So you can roll that hazard protection away, and then you only have to optimize 2.4% weapon damage. Then over to the knee pads of Hunter's Fury, not really worth it. Holster of Rigor, 10.5% skill haste. Mask of Future, explosive resistance, no thank you. Enhanced PP19, steady handed and not really worth buying for the attributes. Model 700, max out crit chance, but that's pretty much it. It comes with perpetuation. Then over to the chest of Empress, not really great. Knee pads of Sokolov, not really great as well. And then over to the mods, 4.7% critical hit chance and a 4.4% duration for your hive. So that is everything from Cassie Mendoza. Maybe, maybe you can pick up those Hunter's Fury for your PvP build, but the rest isn't really worth traveling for. So in my opinion, you do not have to search for the snitch this week. So let's jump over to all the best buys. I will fly through there and show you everything that, in my opinion, is a very nice buy or a best buy within the normal vendor reset. And there we are at the clan vendor, in my opinion, the countdown and the White House don't really sell us some good stuff, so I skipped them. The first thing at the clan vendor is the test subject coming with 15% assault rifle damage, so you only have to roll that stability away for some damage to target out of cover, for example, and then optimize the health damage, because this, of course, always comes with perfectly in sync. So if you're still looking for a test subject, this could be a very, very nice buy. Then jumping over to the knee pads of Tip of Despair, it could be something as it is already 12.4% weapon damage, so you can roll that hazard protection away. And then jumping over to the LVOC, and this comes with Rifleman, a very, very nice talent for a rifle, and already with 7% damage to target out of cover on there. So you could even change the talent if you want and optimize everything. Yes, it's gonna set you back, but you will have a god roll gun, and you can change it on the fly. Talking about changing on the fly, this is the must buy, the best buy since weeks. Look at this Sokolov backpack, guys. It already comes with critical hit chance and critical hit damage. So you can roll that talent away for whatever you think is necessary. If you followed me for a while, I always say try to farm for these kinds of backpacks or these kinds of chests. 
And what do I mean by that? Try to look for the attributes and the core attribute that you want so you can roll that talent away. For example, if a new season comes, a new talent comes, you can instantly roll that over the talent that you have. Let me give you an example. So if we go to my backpacks, you see I have a Grupo backpack, critical hit chance, critical hit damage already on there. So that gave me the opportunity to roll Vigilance or whatever I think is necessary for this Grupo backpack. I have the same for the Walker and Harris, found a critical hit chance, critical hit damage, optimize it and then I can roll that Vigilance talent or whatever talent you want. Same for the Providence, found it with critical hit damage, critical hit chance, rolled Vigilance on there. As you can see, I already have a backpack like this from Sokolov and I rolled Vigilance on there as well. We have another one, but then with headshot damage, with Vigilance. We have one from Fenris, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and I rolled Wicked on there for a little bit of a different build. But as you can see, everything I have is just towards the attributes and the core attributes. I always like to farm those, especially for red builds, especially for your Sokolov, your Fenris, your Providence, your Grupo, your Walker and Harris. Most of the times those backpacks will be used in PvE for some full red builds and that's why I always like to search for critical hit chance, critical hit damage or even headshot damage. It depends on what platform you are on or what build are you rocking but that's why in my opinion this backpack from Sokolov is a must must buy. So let's jump over to our next vendor of today. And there we are at the campus. If you're looking for a forge, you can pick that up. If you're still looking for it, it's still a forge. Not really great in my opinion. And I would love to see some critical hit chance or critical hit damage instead of that skill haste. So we can maybe roll that skill tier away. For example, for some armor, if you want to go for a shield build. Then over to the Bellstone Mask, and this could be a very nice buy, because Critical Hit Chance is already on there. You can roll that Skill Haste away for some Arm Regeneration or for some Critical Hit Damage, and then optimize the rest and use it on your Arm Regeneration. Crit build could be a very, very nice addition if you're still looking for this piece. But that's pretty much it for this vendor. Let's jump over. And here we are at the castle. We jump straight over to the castle and skip the theater to only show you this new reliable. Not that it's that great, but maybe if you're looking for it, it has pretty decent rolls. In my opinion, you can roll it headshot damage away for some radar fire or some damage to target out of cover. As this, of course, comes with perfectly optimized if you're still looking for the new reliable. But that's pretty much it for the castle. So let's jump over to our next one. And we are in the DZ. Starting with DZ East, you can pick up the Black Friday. This, of course, is the named LMG coming with perfectly unhinged. And as you can see for my proficiency rank, this is a DZ exclusive. So if you have the DZ points for it, definitely buy a few or buy that Black Friday if you're still looking for it or buy a few for your proficiency rank because you can only find this in the DZ guys and now it is for sale in DZ East. So if you have the points for it, definitely, definitely pick a few up. But that's pretty much it for DZ East. Then for our next DZ, this is DZ South, and again we can find a DZ exclusive, the Bellstone named backpack, the Liquid Engineer. Perfect block sucker on there, and of course then you can maybe roll that skill damage away, or combine it with the skill damage crit build, then roll that weapon handling away for some crit chance for example. It's not the best in its rolls, as you can see it's a rainbow roll, but still, it's a DZ exclusive. Like you can see from my proficiency rank, I still need a bunch. So if you have the points for it, definitely pick up a few. Because it's not really worth buying if you want to go for a build with this. Another DZ exclusive, pick them up for your proficiency rank. And we are in New York. I skipped the last DZ because it was not really worth it. Over here we can pick up an MP5 ST, and you think MP5 ST, nobody plays with that. 
maybe you want to play with it. Because this is a kind of a good roll. You can roll that headshot damage away for some damage you target out of cover. The SMG damage is almost maxed out. And then you have Flatline already on there. It has a long under barrel rail, so that means that you can put that linked laser pointer from the specialization the technician on there. So don't worry that you need to use your pulse. You can put that linked laser pointer on this gun. This might be a nice change of pace. Then next to that, like the mask we saw, we have a bellstone with 4.5% crit chance and 6.8% explosive resistance. In my opinion, if you want to go for an armor regeneration crit build, you could use this, roll the explosive resistance away for some critical hit damage or even some extra armor regeneration, and you are set for your bellstone. A brand set if you want to go for an armor regeneration crit build, that is. But that's pretty much it for this one. Let's jump over to Roy. And there we are at our last vendor, at Roy, the last vendor in New York. And in my opinion, you can pick up this backpack of Brazos. And you think, why? It's low on armor, it has armor regeneration, crit chance, and comes with Wicket. So think about next season. The Brazos three-piece comes with 20% extra magazine size. The new gun coming, the St. Elmo's, will have 70 bullets and when you hit 100 shots, the talent will activate and you will shoot some shock bullets. In combination with Wicked, you will do some extra damage of 18% to stated effective enemies and this already comes with critical hit chance and arm regeneration if you want to go for that. So if you want to go for arm regeneration, in my opinion, roll that armor away for some weapon damage core. Or if you want to go full crit, then roll that armor regeneration away for some critical hit damage and then optimize the armor. Yes, it's going to set you back, but I think this could be a very, very nice backpack for the future. Especially that three piece for the magazine size. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the full vendor reset normally i will do cassie on wednesday and tuesday i do the normal vendor reset like i explained at the beginning but this is a full video of everything that happened in the vendor reset this week so hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you can find a few pieces in my opinion this is a great great vendor reset there are a lot of decent and a few must-buys that will definitely help out a lot of agents if you're new to the game or if you've been playing this since day one. Again, thanks very much for being here. Thank you very much for clicking on the video and of course staying until the end. Like I said at the beginning, if you want to help me out and you like the video, like that video. And if you're new here and or you wanna just be updated about everything in the Division universe, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.